guys, it's me, Debbie Jasmine. So many of you guys have requested a part two to my DS game collection. I'm making a part two to my DS game collection, and if you haven't already seen, I actually did make a part one. You can click right up there, and you can go watch it, and then come back to this video. So before I get into all the games, I am going to do a quick little overview of my DS collection. We've got this OG DS light. It is in the color, I think someone commented, it's in the color metallic pink. We've got the classic DS light, and we have our pull-out game cartridge down here as well. Next, we have, we've got the green turquoise-ish 3DS. I played on this for hours. The purple violet 3DS. This one's actually my sister's. So when my sister was a lot younger, she used to play on this DS a lot, but she was also like a little bit smaller and she used to take beads, you know, like little rhinestones off party dresses and she liked to collect them. And one day we were out at some family function and she had been collecting them and she didn't have anywhere to store them. So she decided to shove all the rhinestones that she collected that day into the game cartridge slot. And I've tried so many times to take tweezers and pull them all out and there's still a few stuck in there. Like they're really in the system. Um, so you can't actually put game cartridges in this DS anymore. It just doesn't take. And because of that, my sister um, always has to borrow my DS's. This Christmas, my parents decided it was a good idea to get her a new DS, one where the actual game cartridge works. So this is it. It is another DS Lite, just like my pink one here. And it's just in the color white. It's super cute. Oh, you can see yourself there. Just like the pink one, they've got the game cartridge at the back, other game cartridge, and we've got the pen. So yeah, this is the newest edition. I think you can have up to four DSs like synced together. So now I can invite friends over who don't have DSs and there can be four of us playing, which is awesome. So yeah, now it's time to get into the good stuff. The games, where do I start? I don't even know where to start anymore. The new Super Mario Bros. game. This game is a classic. That's what it looks like inside. I had this game when I was little. Loved this game to death. It was honestly one of my favorites. So when I was little, I had this game. I still have the case for it. But um, I think what I did with the cartridge one day, I put it on a windowsill and then it got knocked and it went into the vents in my house and I never saw it again. So I thought since it was one of my favorite games growing up that it would be a great idea to go and buy it again. And I give this game 10 out of 10. Okay, so next here we have Lego Chima. I think this is also a TV series. I'm not too sure, so I'm so sorry if I'm getting this wrong. It looks like on the inside. I think all Lego DS games you can't go wrong with. All of them are just really nicely made and they're super fun. I give this 6 out of 10. Another Lego game. We have Lego Marvel Super Heroes Universe in Perel. 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 I don't know. I'm not saying that right. This is what the game looks like. I really like Marvel, and I do watch the Marvel movies, so I'm gonna have to give this one 7 out of 10. Another one. Next, I have Lego Batman DS game. That's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, I'm not gonna get into it, but Batman, I think, is like one of the coolest superheroes, because he's basically human, but he just has cool gadgets, in my personal opinion. That Batman is like the coolest superhero out there. But, um, having said that, this game is very good. I do recommend it. Um, Lego DS games, hit it out of the park every time. It's gotta be another 6 out of 10. Actually, no. Just because of Batman, I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. Ooh, next. Some of my games I buy new, some of them I buy used, um, and pre-owned. Just because it's a little bit cheaper to buy like bundles and so sometimes when I'm buying these used games they don't come with cases so if some of them don't come with cases just bear with me it's just because it didn't come with a case I got a good deal so that's what's important so next I do have another Lego game this is the Lego Harry Potter game it doesn't come with a case but it's still a very good game I play this on the Wii too I'm not a huge Potterhead but I have like enough knowledge to get through this the DS version and the Wii version are all great I'm gonna give it a six, six and a 
half out of 10. Next, Paws and Claws Pampered Pets. I don't know why my cases do this sometimes where it'll get like damaged up at the top. I don't know, maybe it's just, just a thing. I think it's a super cute game, love the packaging and everything. However, I have played quite a few of these kind of games and out of all of them, I wouldn't recommend this one. This sounds bad, but I've played like better pet spa games. If you're trying to find a pet spa, pet grooming kind of game, this wouldn't be my first choice. 4 out of 10. Next, another dog pet DS game. Nintendo Dogs and Cats. I know so many people who talk about this game so passionately and I love that people are passionate about their DS games. I am so sorry to everybody who loves Nintendo Dogs, but I am not a fan of the game. I know, I'm so sorry. And I feel so bad because I want to like it. I really want to like it, but ah. So I'm gonna have to give it a 4 out of 10. Sorry. Next, I have Brain Age. You know one cool thing about this game? You can like hold your DS vertically. It's a vertical game. I've never seen a DS game do that. Um, however, in all honesty, I think this game is boring. I am so sorry if this is your favorite game and I'm dissing it right now. I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. Next one, though this one does not have a case. It's called Mind Quiz. It's very much similar to Brain Age. It's like one of those games where you train your brain and do all these mind exercises. But unlike Brain Age, it's not vertical. I'm pretty sure it's a horizontal game. I'm gonna have to give this game a one. A one out of 10. Don't buy this game. Don't buy this game. If you're looking for fun games, this is not it. Moving on. It's called Boogie. So basically, it's like Just Dance. But for your DS, this is like a early, early version of Just Dance. And I love the Just Dance games. They are my favorite. If you want to play a dancing game, just get Just Dance. This game is really cute, but I do recommend Just Dance over this one. 5 out of 10. Last but not least, Super Mario DS looks just like that. And I also have Super Mario Kart 7 these two games this one I've had for a while I think I got it when it first came out and this one I just got like a little while ago it's more recent this game I think it's really good I think this game is great it's really really fun and you can play against other players with your DS's I think this is a really really good fun game I also think this game is really really good too Mario Kart 7 is basically this game just more improved and I love both these games to death, but if I had to pick one, I would pick Mario Kart 7 just because it's, there's a little bit more, it's just, the graphics are better, the power-ups are better, the, like, customization is a lot better, um, there's a little bit more things to do in this one, so other than that, these are pretty similar, like, they're almost the same game, actually. This one is 7.5 out of 10. This one I'm going to have to give 10 out of 10. I hope I didn't offend anyone with my opinion. I'm just trying to give a really good, honest recommendation slash opinion to try and let everyone know which games I think are worth it and which ones I think are not. Um, with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and comment down below if you played any of the games that I mentioned in today's video. Let me know what you think about them. Let me know your opinions, if they differ from mine. If you also haven't seen my last, my previous Nintendo videos, you can click right up here and they'll also be linked in the description down below. Um, yeah, I will see you all next week. Bye.